done a lot of pizza episodes on this show, but tonight is a little different. We're taking you on a journey across the great landscape of pizza. And our chariot for tonight, the Alfa Romeo Giulia. Mamma mia. About as Italian as it gets. And speaking of the old country, we should probably start at the beginning. Neapolitan style pizza. Neapolitan style. Neapolitan. The original style. We're back in Napoli, in Ravenswood. John, all episode long, we're doing a pizza tour of all different varieties, but we thought it best to start at the very beginning. We were living in Italy for three and a half years, so very easy to get immersed in the culture. And sure enough, years later, somebody had recommended that I consider a pizzeria, and so the pizza was actually a way to stay connected to our life and our culture. For those not familiar with Spacanapoli or traditional Italian pizza, what can they expect? You would find a pizza that comes out of a wood-burning oven. It's a very light dough. There should be, hopefully, the cornicione, the border, which would have a nice puff to it. They use hot ovens. It's a nice blistery crust. The crust has got a crisp chewiness. It has ingredients which are well balanced. It's everything you want. Seeing we're going back to the birthplace of pizza, what would be a good thing for us to make today? A margarita, simple cheese pie. That sounds good to me. OK, andiamo. Okay. Now we're in the pizza kitchen, and you're gonna train me. So we have these two pagnotte, the dough balls, pushing toward the cornicione, the border. They actually used to have us do push-ups against the wall to strengthen the muscles. How many could you do? Two. Two? <laughs> it's, two more, it's two more than me. First thing is the tomato sauce, a nice peeled tomato from Italy with some salt, and that's it. Then just a little bit of the cheese. So it's a blend of the cow's milk, which has nice flavor, blended with the beautiful acidity of the buffalo milk, which has a higher fat content and richer. We finish with rip base and a splash of olive oil, and it's time to turn up the heat. Tip down in the front and then pull back. Perfect. Our Neapolitan margaritas will only take a few minutes in the wood-fired oven, which is just enough time to find out how John's pizza stacks up to the old world. My wife and I went to Naples. We went to Italy once. We've been to Napoli. And this is as close as we've had since we've been back. This is every bit as good as the best ones we've had there. This is the easiest way to get Neapolitan true-style pizza without flying all the way to Naples. Poetry in motion. That's how I'd like to call your pizza. You, you know, did well. Thank you, you sir. You did well, look at this. It's almost a shame that I'm gonna devour it, but that's the food chain, my friends. Someone has to lose. It's always the pizza. The fact that there is so much perfection in what amounts to such simplicity. We heard on Facebook and our app, including Diane, who said he's addicted to your pizza, and now I can see why. Before you go, let me show you something, how the pizza would be sold on the street in Naples 300 years ago. You'd fold it in half, and then you fold it in half again, and then you would take a bite. Perfect for travel. Perfect. Cool. All right, then I'm on to my next spot. Thanks, John. Buongiorno.